What is up guys? Today we are going to talk about some of my favorite products that I've gotten on Amazon for anxiety. So these are products that I personally use to help when I'm feeling anxious. I'm going to link all of them below. In the interest of full disclosure, the links do go through my Amazon affiliate account. So allegedly I get some percentage of the sales if you guys go through my link rather than going through the Amazon website. I don't really know how it works. This is the first time I've ever done it. Fair warning that that's what's happening. If it pisses you off, Google these products or look them up on, you know, an Amazon account. And these specific products are the things that I personally have, but you don't necessarily have to get these specific ones. So you can certainly look and see if there's something similar that you like and that might work better for you. I am a little bit cheap. So many of the products that I have purchased are, you know, the ones that I think are like best quality for the price. So again, you know, that's something that might change and yeah. So let's talk about them. Okay, so first things first, two of my favorite workbooks. These are two workbooks that I think anybody with anxiety should have and should work through. And actually I've gone through them multiple times. This one looks pretty ratty, but um, this one actually looks pretty good because I had it on my Kindle for a while and only just recently bought the actual paperback version. But these are really helpful books. So this one is Mindfulness and Acceptance Workbook for Anxiety. And you guys know I preach about mindfulness all the time. And Acceptance and Commitment Therapy is a form of therapy that is also super helpful and kind of ties in with mindfulness. Um, and this kind of goes back to the thought that I've talked about in other videos that what you resist persists. And so if you're constantly fighting away the anxiety, it's going to get worse. So I found this stuff to be like life changing. I think I've had this book in particular for like almost 10 years, eight years, 10 years. It's been, I've had it for a long time and I cannot tell you how many times I've read through it and used it. Similarly, cognitive behavioral therapy. So, you know, this stuff is all best done with the help of a therapist, but I know there's a lot of people that can't afford therapists or can't get there for some reason, or you may be working with a therapist and want to do something to sort of supplement that. Cognitive behavioral therapy workbook is, you know, a wonderful treatment for all types of anxiety. And this will kind of lead you through how to actually employ some of these CBT techniques in your daily life. And of course, if you aren't already subscribed because CBT exercises and ACT exercises like in these two books are things that we're gonna keep talking about on this channel. Next thing, this might seem really simple, but it's just a good old fashioned like hot cold face mask. So you can heat it up or put it in the freezer and then you put it on your face and you feel like a diva, but it really helps with anxiety because I know this is something I've talked about in other videos, but things like this are going to cause a physical sensation that's noticeable in your body, right? So if you have like coldness right on your eyes, you're going to notice that. And that can be really helpful in anxiety because it's a form of grounding yourself. So when you notice physical sensations, intense ones, especially, and you know, when you're in the midst of something like a panic attack, this is something that can be super helpful. But when you notice something like this, that can kind of snap you out of it and almost distract you and kind of ground you so that you are in the present and you're not worried about the other physical sensations you might be having or worried about the future or thinking about the past. So you don't have to put it on your eyeballs. You can also just like hold it. If it's frozen, you can hold it really tight. Don't give yourself frostbite, please. And that sort of discomfort that comes from the coldness on your hands can actually be really helpful. Okay, next up. <laughs> this. The reason I was struggling was because A, I'm dramatic, and B, it's actually a weighted blanket. So I think this one that I have is like 15 pounds, so it's not like you're not gonna suffocate. But it's super cozy because it just kind of makes you feel like you're in a big hug. Great for single people and for people whose like spouses aren't that cuddly. Here's looking at my husband. Anyways, I'm gonna put this on too. I 
feels so fabulous right now. Okay, next. All right, this is gonna seem like super obvious and simple, but it still helps. So candles, like candles that smell good um, or that don't smell good if that's your thing. But I really like, so honeysuckle is like one of my favorite smells ever. So that makes me happy. And then anything lavender and anything eucalyptus. So I, I don't, I, <laughs> I was like, don't do that. You're on the camera right now, but I couldn't help it. Anyways, lavender, eucalyptus, those two in particular tend to be really calming. And then for me, honeysuckle is just kind of my thing. I also just bought a pair of candles, one's lavender and one's eucalyptus that are pretty amazing, but they're all the way downstairs and I'm way too lazy to get up and get them. So I'll just link them below. And why stop at candles when you can get other scented things too? So there are like some aromatherapy room sprays and um, hand lotion that's really nice. Um, again, lavender. I think lavender is just really calming. I actually don't know if there's any science behind that, but I just really like it. All right, next thing, my panda planner. So it's kind of massive, which is the downside. You can't really take it traveling with you. Um, but that's okay because I try to, and I say try because I definitely don't always do it, but I try really hard to do it in the mornings. The thing that I think really reduces anxiety for me is that it has a little section um, to prompt you for your priorities of the day. And I find that even if I just do like three, that's like the best number of priorities to have. Um, and similarly, you can put focus. I sometimes get a little bit overwhelmed by all of the different boxes for the morning review, so I don't necessarily do them all. Um, but I find that like having a priority and a focus can be pretty anxiety relieving to me. And for some reason, when I do this first thing in the morning, I feel like I've already accomplished something, even though I've just written something down. Um, I just find that really helpful. All right, so you guys gotta come with me for this next one. All right, so this is a little dude named QB. It is a under the desk elliptical. Don't mind my Wonder Woman socks, makes me pedal faster. Anyways, it's super helpful for me. I thought it was initially gonna just be like, give me some exercise while I was sitting and like writing notes, but I actually found it to be super duper helpful for discharging some of my anxious energy and like jitteriness and stuff like that. So I was actually really, this was not a product that I intended to buy to like target anxiety, um, but I was so surprised by how much it actually helped. So certainly one of the more expensive things that I've used. And honestly, I think if you're able to just like get up during the day and jump around, do some squats, whatever it might be, um, I think that can probably work just as well. But I found it helpful for times when I'm just kind of like, I feel like I'm chained to my desk. So yeah, it was great. And there's, I think there's a couple other options on Amazon. I picked this one again because it was the lowest price with the best reviews that I could find. So, um, but I'm sure, like I said, anything that you're moving your body and kind of discharging some of that anxious energy is gonna be really helpful. All right, guys. So those are my favorite things right now for reducing anxiety and just some things that work for me. So you may or may not find them helpful, but they're all linked below, like I said. And if you like this video, let me know and consider subscribing. We'll talk more about anxiety tips and about mental health and life hacks in general. So leave me a comment below if you have any of these things and you find them helpful or don't find them helpful. And also leave me a comment below if there's things you want to learn about. All right, guys, I will see you later.